guys, after Jerry Axia, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate Atlantis. This is season 3, episode 15. Let's get into the episode. Let me ask you a question. Say there's a runaway train. It's hurtling out of control towards 10 people standing in the middle of the tracks. Trolley trouble? The only way to save those people is to flip a switch. Send the train down another set of tracks. The only problem is there is a baby in the middle of those tracks. Is it appropriate to divert the train and kill the one baby to save the 10 people? Yeah. And the people to see the train coming and move? No, no, they wouldn't see it. Why not? Look, I don't know. Say they're blind. All of them? Yes, all of them. Then why don't you just call out and tell them to move out of the way? Yeah, because they can't hear you. But they're deaf, too. How fast is the train going? The speed doesn't matter. Oh, well, sure it does. If it's going slow enough, you could outrun it and shove everyone to the side. Or better yet, go get the baby. Well, for God's sake, I was just trying to... Rodney? Yes, go ahead. Major Lord just dialed in from M4D058. He said he's got something you'll want to see. These people don't exactly look like they're ready to be launching any satellites. At least not for the next 500 years or so. Ancients probably put them up there. Send the science team to check it out. Actually, I think Dr. McKay may want to come check this one out for himself. Why? Take a look. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The joke is there, the joke is there. Come on, come on. He robbed the rich and gave to the poor, stood up for the man, and he gave him what for? Our love for him ain't hard to explain. The hero of Canton, the man they call Rodney McKay. <laughs> gotcha. How the hell did your face get on that flag? I don't know. I mean, here's the thing, though. That flag's very similar to the one I designed in our game. It's exactly like the one you designed in our game. What game? Well, it started a while ago. A few months after we arrived here, we were exploring the city, checking out some labs on the East Pier when we discovered a room. As usual, everything sprang to life as soon as we entered. First, we thought it was some kind of a geological facility. There was a, there was a screen with a map that we assumed was of the Atlantean mainland. I remember you briefing me about that. Right, there you go. We did tell you. You mentioned nothing about a game, though. That's because at first we didn't know what it was. Then Rodney started to look closely. He realized it wasn't a geological lab. Now, it turns out it was, in fact, a, a kind of uh, ancient game room. The map was of a fictional civilization as part of a simulated world. Sweet. Two societies separated by a river straight down the middle. Shepard took one country, I took the other. First thing Rodney did, besides renaming his country, is put his face all over the flag. I think you need to check this planet out. Have you guys been playing God to Civilizations? So the ancestors created this game. Yes, but this is no ordinary game. I mean, it is incredibly challenging, instructional. I mean, the sheer number of options built into it, staggering. I just want to play it. You have to figure out the best way to run your country. Yeah, you build roads, you uh, establish laws, mold it to your own specific ideology. You can control so, buddy, so, so you're playing city skylines. Water delivery, transportation. Every detail can be manipulated, right down to the women's hairstyles. Hello there. So how do you win this game? It's not really about winning. Yeah, it's more about uh, whose society outshines the others. I mean, who creates a better infrastructure? Who's better at trade? What? Hey, don't start. I tried to negotiate with you. Making a list of demands and not giving anything in return is not negotiating. I offered you an entire crop of beans. I don't need beans any longer. All oh, right, to build defensive fortifications for your army, which he doubled in size, by the way. Surprise, surprise. I only did that after you started cheating. I did not cheat. I'm not the only one increasing my army, by the way. I had to do something to protect the people of Geldar from you. Geldar. Named it after a girl he stalked in college. I did not stalk her. We dated twice. Teresa Geldar, very cute blonde. I used to think her name reminded me of some kind of a mythological land. The Kingdom of Geldar. What did you call your country? Well, I just kept the name it already had. This is amazing! Not everyone has the same hairdo. A lot of them do, but some of them have their hair up. Yeah, something you see in every medieval village. Yes, well, the Renaissance obviously came early to these folks. A couple hundred years early. Rodney? Say something. Like what? I don't know. Hello, I am Nola. Yes, well, uh, this is Lieutenant Colonel John Shepard, Taylor Morgan, Ronan Dex, and I'm McKay. Dr. Rodney McKay. The resemblance is uncanny. You are. 
The Oracle. The Oracle? Welcome to Geldar. The Oracle is a wise and omnipotent deity. Boy, she's in for a rude awakening. Thousands of years ago, he gave our ancestors life. He instructed them how to build their society, how to live their lives. His guidance was revered by all. Then one day, without warning, the Oracle ceased all communications. War with the Wraith. Our people were puzzled by this, but they continued to adhere to his instructions, living their lives according to his teachings, which they passed down from generation to generation. The Oracle resumed communicating with us, teaching us many new things. He challenged us to think, to push the limit of our scientific endeavors, changed the name of our country, and even revealed his likeness to us. And not for the pictures. And you communicate through that. It's through this that we receive our instructions. And the Oracle knows when you've carried them out? Yes. The satellites. We must be tracking everything that's going on and then relaying it via subspace back to Atlantis. It's remarkable. <clears throat> McKay's been playing Civilization slash The Sims slash City Skylines. This country here. Helona. Persistent thorn in our side. Now that you've come to us, you can help us remove it. We've managed to achieve propulsion through hand power propellers. But now we're undertaking tests of steam-powered propulsion. Only this morning, I completed a test that proved quite promising. Really? That's great. I'm pleased. Yes. Yes, I mean, this is, this is quite an achievement. What's he doing here? Wasn't my idea. Dr. Rodney McKay? Let me bait. Your guy. My guy. Yeah, figures. I should have you arrested for trespassing. Go ahead and try. Easy now. I brought him here because we need to have a little discussion. I have nothing to say to him. Fine with me. Yeah, maybe not. But we definitely have something to say to you. He told you to double the size of your army. Yes, he has a capable army. And some nice villages. No people riding bicycles or hot air balloons because we weren't cheating. I didn't cheat. Have you come to agree to our trade proposals? You mean demands? Never. Then I refuse to sit at the same table. Look, look please just, just sit. Thank you. This hostility between you, have your people lived like this for thousands of years? No. There was once peace between our lands. Oh, no. So this hostility, um, did it start a few years ago? Yes. Shortly after the Oracle resumed communicating with us. So, we're starving? Well, not as of yet, but... If they don't change their approach to agriculture, it won't be too long before many of their people go hungry. The frustrating thing is that there is a large piece of fertile soil in the south that would be ideal for tuber cultivation, you know? Tuber? Tuber, yeah, tuber. It, uh, it is indigenous to the planet. It's, um, it's like a potato. So why did you say potato? Yeah, because it's not a potato. It's, it's, it's larger. It, it, it has the same texture and nutrients as a potato, but it, it, it's a, it, it, like a cantaloupe. It's a pretty big potato. So if they plant this thing there, it'll grow? Yeah, oh yes, the, the whole fields of it. I mean, they could sustain an entire village. But they're oblivious to it. Now tell them. Anonymously. Oh, come on, Doc. You can either stand here and let the people die, or you can help them out. You are the Oracle. I'm your Oracle, yes. That doesn't sound right. I, I know this is difficult to absorb, but it is all true. He flew in the puddle jumper. You know they have the technology. No more listening to this. Just hold on here a second. We can prove it to you. How? Let's go for a ride. So, this is Geldar, and this is Helona. Look, two weeks ago, I instructed you to start digging a well for the new settlement on the eastern slope, and look here. There. See? Construction's already begun. I gave the order myself. Our lives are just a game. Well, now, no. They're not games to you, and our defense, we were trying to improve your lives. Just like you said, everything we did, every instruction we gave was to better conditions for your people. And if that meant cheating. Okay, you know, enough with that already. Is the room okay? It's fine. Well then, if you, uh, if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask, okay? You hungry? Because we, we can walk across to the mess hall. They've got, um, uh, I think it's uh, Salisbury steak today. It's very good. They have, they have a gravy that they put on the, on the steak part. And, the Oracle was a god to us. I believed in his teachings. So much so that my people elected me leader because of my passion for scientific advancement. Well, they obviously made the right choice. Now I must resolve myself to the fact that the Oracle is only a man. 
Sorry about that. It's like I said, though, I, I, I did what I did with the best of intentions. To win a game. No, no, it is not about winning or losing. Look, the information I gave you and your people is very real, very useful. I've set you on a course that will allow you to develop into a, into a modern society. I mean, where were you two years ago, huh? You were, a, you were a primitive, disparate cluster of villages stalled in development. Now you're making dirigibles. Do you have any idea how momentous that is? The Oracle once said, ask not what Geldar can do for you, but what you can do for Geldar. Those were your words. Um, give or take. They are very wise. Yes. Yes, they are. The flying machine you brought us here. Our army could use it. No. But you encouraged me to increase the military. In response to McKay, the other oracle, doing things that I thought were... Uh... Aggressive? Demeaning to me and my people. I, I will give you arrogant and demeaning. Time. The people of Geldar have started digging a mine beneath our borders to exploit coal resources on our land. Really? It was only confirmed yesterday. This after several diplomatic attempts to reach a compromise. Yeah, we couldn't come to an agreement, but I, I didn't think he would start digging. I'm curious to know what response you would have to such an incursion. I believe your next command would be to launch an attack on the mine, prevent them from digging further. Right, aren't I? I've asked you both here this morning so we can have a face-to-face -face talk. Now, hopefully, I can help you reach an understanding. Where's Dr. McKay? Well, I've asked that neither he nor Colonel Shepard participate in this. I think they've already done enough in fostering the current tension between you. You know, I have had some experience brokering peace treaties. I'm sure we can find some common ground. Why don't we start by going back a few years? to the time when your two peoples lived in peace. We were naive back then, ignorant to our potential. Once we began to challenge ourselves intellectually, we began to see how the people of Helona had been abusing thousands of years of kindness from us. I've done everything I could to achieve peace with you. Really? Such as? I sent gifts of goodwill. You sent crates of citrus fruit. Citrus! Do you have any idea what an insult that is to my people? Didn't used to be. Okay, see, I think I know where that comes from. Did the Oracle tell you that citrus fruit was bad? He made us aware of its toxic properties, yes. Everything is toxic to you. They're not busy insulting us. They're complaining about contaminated food, improper hygiene. Even the sunlight is dangerous to them. The only insult has been your unwillingness to compromise in any trade negotiation. Instead, you choose to increase the size of your army. You built an army too. Only in response to your aggression. My aggression? You dig a mine beneath our border to steal our coal and you have the nerve to talk about aggression. We're not stealing you your coal. You crossed into our land. What do you need it for anyway? It's not like you know the first thing about what to do with it. You see how she insults us? By stating a fact. Okay, please, if we could discuss this reasonably, I'm sure we can come to some sort of... We've tried. They agree to nothing. And until Dr. McKay is brought into this discussion, I have nothing further to say. So that went well. That went well. <laughs> Nola, you and your people need to start thinking for yourselves. Look, I'm not going to be there for you anymore. You need, to, you need to take control of your own lives, start making your own decisions about your future. And there could be no future without peace. I agree. Good. And as soon as the people of Helona either concede or get out of our way, peace will be restored. She's definitely been eating some of that jelly because there's blue in her mouth. I do realize how monumental our progress has been, and I refuse to let Baden destroy that. Great spirits have always encountered opposition from mediocre minds. Those are the words of the Oracle. Your words. Einstein's, actually. But, um, if we yield one bit to Helona, it will be equal to taking a giant step back in our development. I owe it to my people to make sure that does not happen. They're digging further. Every hour they intrude deeper into our land. To get them to stop, you have to provide an incentive. Like attacking the mine. Well, it'll cause a whole other set of problems. The only problems will be with the people of Geldo. Not necessarily, they can fight back. What are you saying? We should capitulate. Let them do whatever they want. Oh, you make a deal, trade. Uh, decide to share some of your weaponry, and they in turn give you some of their tech. John? Go ahead. How's it going? Well, uh, he's being a little... Uh, Stubborn? I was going to use a different word. Hmm. I'd like you to come to my office. We need to talk. His people are digging a mine across the border into Holona. 
the coal resources straddle the border between my country and his? Barely. They go three miles into my country, which your people are happily tunneling into. It has been a point of contention between us, okay? But it is just a, a difference in cartographic interpretation. Tomato. Tomato. No, no, it's pretty clear cut. You entered illegally into my country. Gentlemen. You gave me no choice. You refused to negotiate. Oh, you mean give in? What do you care anyway? It's not like your people are going to use the coal. Stop it. These are not your lands. This game is over, so you'd better set aside your differences because if the two of you can't figure out how to forge a truce, how the hell are these people going to? Rodney. What? You'd better come to the game room. What happened? We've just received a data stream from the planet. Colonel Shepard's army has launched an attack. Well, don't look at me. I didn't order it. I mean, he was touching the computer before. Oh, they're going after the mine. Looks like your war just started. Well, there's no casualties reported. It looks like the mine was surrendered without a fight. I told my army to minimize collateral damage. You need to get back there. Take Ronan and Taylor with you. Go to your respective countries and make sure this does not get any further out of hand. No one has been hurt yet. Let's keep it that way. You're back. We're beginning to worry. Status. I've ordered three army units to retake the mine. They're on their way. No, no, no. You need to put a stop to that. Why? We just need to step back and, and reassess the situation here, okay? We should be thinking about easing tensions, not inflaming them. Oh, no. They're continuing to advance. What? Divert the units away from the mine, have them gather in the village, prepare to defend it. Isn't this what you're supposed to be stopping? Listen to me, you cannot engage them. We must protect our people. I agree, but you've got to give Shepard some time. He'll call off the army. Will he? Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Are you watching what's going on here? Yeah, we just got here. Well, it's the same setup as yours. We don't have electricity, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Your army is still on the march. What? They're headed for one of my villages. You need to call them off before they... The attack has begun. Like you guys are giving up. What? No, 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 that guy can't be right. It's fast, Rodney. Well, they've retreated without any kind of a fight. What kind of an army is that? Well, at least there's no casualties. It's all right. I have another plan. Uh, what are you doing? Preparing our counterattack. What counterattack? From information you gave us about high temperature and energetic materials technology, I have constructed a tactical explosive device. A bomb? You actually built a bomb? I told you we'd always be several steps ahead of Baden. How come I didn't know about this? We have yet to test it, so it still appears to not exist. It will target one of Pelona's outlying villages. How are you going to deliver it? I mean, the, the, the catapult couldn't possibly reach that far. I will deliver it. Using one of the airships you taught us to build. Go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come back. You taught them how to build a bomb. Not specifically. Look, okay, maybe I provided them with a list of ingredients, but God, I don't believe this. How much damage can it cause? I have to take out an entire village? Well, then you must help them to stop. No, I tried that, but it's already on the way. You just had to cheat, didn't you? I did not cheat. Look, nowhere in the rules did it specifically outlaw the development of flying machines, only the degree and speed of technological advancement. Well, they advanced pretty damn fast, didn't they? Do we still have time to shoot it down? Yes. What are you talking about? It's a perfectly reasonable request. Oh, yeah, I give you all of my food and my people's time. Yeah, I am not asking you for all, all your food. Security class. I did say that we... Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, baskets. Big baskets! Two dozen of them, hand-woven and very nice. Oh, very nice. What am I going to put in them? Huh? Certainly not food! You know, I think you're holding out on me. I think you have plenty of food. Are you calling me a liar? No, I think you're trying to squeeze me for a better deal. That's what I think. Ugh, I have got nothing to hide. Now, if okay, you okay, so maybe I'll send some of my army troops down and we'll have a look. What the hell are you two doing? I thought I gave specific orders to stay away from this device. We just saw that there were some people in trouble and we thought maybe that we could, uh, help. No, no more help. Clearly, we are not qualified. Now turn this thing off, disconnect the power, and seal the room. Yeah, but, okay, we... we now. Mm. What's that? Good. Now all you have to do is puncture the balloon. Already on it. Isn't that gonna kill someone inside there? He shot down our airship with the puddle jumper. No, don't worry, no one was hurt. He, he just, he punctured it, it, it sank harmlessly to the ground. Prepare the other bombs for delivery. Other bombs? Wait, you have more? Great. Stop them! Don't just sit there and do nothing. Thank you for your help. You saved the lives of everyone in that village. We won't be doing that again. I had no idea they were capable of delivering such a device. Tell me about it. Look, I am not giving up on these people. Which means until we get them to call this war off, then we're just staying put right here. Use your help, come on. Whoa, 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 what the hell's going on? 
Elizabeth diverted the Daedalus on its way back to Earth to check up on us. Colonel Caldwell believed that the situation had deteriorated. He feared that we would become casualties of war and so beamed us out. But I talked him into beaming us back, but we gotta do something first, so come on. Well, do what? I got a plan. Where did you go? What happened? Uh, nowhere. No, we were just upstairs. Someone said you vanished into thin air. What? No, it's ridiculous. How can we vanish? The airships have passed the southern forest. They're nearing their targets. Let's hope we strike first before Baden's army reaches our villages. We'll destroy their will to fight. Listen to me. For two years now, I have been the oracle to your people. I have given you much wisdom and guidance and, and bestowed much of my knowledge. It's like you said, I was a god. Easy. And yes, yes. I may just be a man, but that wisdom still remains. And now more than ever, you need to heed my guidance and call back those ships. You told me it was time to start thinking on my own. Right? So now I am. My people are looking to me. This is my decision. And we will be victorious. Why won't you help us? I'm shooting down any more ships. We're done helping you wage this war. We'll shoot them down ourselves. How? Our weapons are not as primitive as Nola believes. Many people will die on both sides. If you want to leave, then leave. We'll continue this fight even if you've lost the will. Making a big mistake. The only mistake was not doing this sooner. You'll see. This is the right path for my people. What happened? I shot down one of your ships. It wasn't the puddle jumper. Maybe one of the catapults, in. No, impossible. More villages have fallen. It appears many are dead. Shepard, come in. Shepard. Radio staff. They're coming here. Oh, they have bombs too. We need to get your people out of here now. Help them. Their army has surrounded us. The road out of the village is blocked. People are being slaughtered as they try to leave. We're trapped. What shall we do? Another bomb. Hundreds have died. How can you stand by and let this happen? Lola's army has surrounded the village. We'll get to the jumper. They just destroyed it. We're being overwhelmed. What should we do? Just turn off the devices? Is that the plan? <laughs> Game over. Rodney, you there? Yeah, we hear you. I'll give you a call when we're ready to be picked up. Got it. What's going on? What you just witnessed is what I would call another level to the game. See, we were beamed up earlier to our ship. While we were there, I had Dr. McKay hack into the two devices, upload doomsday scenarios for each of your countries into the game. Everything you saw just now was transmitted from the Daedalus. You mean none of this was real? No, no one was hurt, no one was killed. All just part of the simulation. In reality, your two armies are standing down. Awaiting further instructions. But we heard explosions. We felt them. Thanks to some pinpoint shots from our friends in the Daedalus. I'm sorry that we had to do that. You needed to see how this could end. Feel what a real war is like. You still think it was the right path for your people? Well, I mean, they didn't lose anyone, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's a weird way to wrap that up. How's it going? Oh, it's still going. We're just taking a break. There's a lot of animosity to be unraveled, but I think they are finally willing to at least try to make it work. Well, it's about time. Called a truce yet? Yeah, sure. We're, we're good. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to stick to chess from now on. As long as Rodney doesn't cheat. Oh, please. Like, I need to cheat playing you. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Check me. Ooh, no, 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 no. What happened there? What happened here is I just kicked your ass. No, no, I was distracted. She was, uh, she was, okay, we're going again. Test of 10. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, Food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit for example, 
Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty-o. Well that was um, Stargate Atlantis Season 3 Episode 15. Um, it was a decent episode. Um, really weirdly wrapped up though. I don't know how I felt about the wrap up. It is what it is though. Um, yeah, so they were, like, playing this simulation game, and the simulation was kind of real, I guess. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.